Hi guys, it's Allison from A Smith Loves Beauty, and I'm here today to show you guys some of my empties, and these are also mini reviews, so I like watching these, even though it's kind of like going through my trash. I kind of like watching these because I get to see reviews on what people think after they've completely finished up a product. Because, you know, sometimes when you start using a product, you're like, oh, this is amazing. And then after a while, you're like, eh, not so much. So this will kind of show you um, how um, I really like the product, if I plan on repurchasing it or not. Um, I do have a lot of samples in here. Um, a lot of them are from Birchbox and Ipsy. Um, and then I also have some from my um, esthetician. So I'm going to start, try to get through this as quickly as possible. I may not get through everything, but I'll just add it on to the next video. So the first thing, um, I am having a dilemma right now. Uh, <laughs> nail files. I cannot find a good nail file. I received um, the uh, package of these as a gift and I cannot stand these. They tear up my nails. They are so rough that they just split them apart. They are horrible and I try to use these and they just don't work. Then, um, and these are from Revlon. I don't know if you could read that. hate these. Um, these are some cheap ones from Walmart. Um, there were two in a package. I have another one. I only have it because that's the only file I have, but these don't last very long. They last like two uses and that's not okay with me. So I am not happy about this. Um, I watched a video this morning. Someone found some at Ulta, dollar a piece, and she said they're the best that she's ever used. So that is my mission is to go to Ulta and get some new files because those are horrible. Um, I have a buffing block that I'm getting rid of. Um, it's just because it's old and it's tearing up and it's time. Love these. These do such a good job at smoothing out your nails so that we don't have the ridges on them anymore. The older I get, I'm kind of noticing more of those ridges. And um, really love these. I think I've gotten these. I think this is just for, uh, one from Walmart. I just bought some recently at um, Marshall's. There was like a three pack for like $2. And those work even better than these, but there was no brand on those. So I have no idea what what kind those were, but these are just the, um, some from Walmart that I got. So anyway, so those are a few things, um, nail things that I'm getting rid of. Um, let's go to teeth. Um, I used up um, one of the um, Whitening Lightning um, t uh, Zero white lightning pen. This was the zero kind. I got it because I was thinking that the other ones would um, be too um, hard on my teeth, but they're not. So, um, but I do like these. Use these at night, right before you go to bed. It's just a pen. You click up, brush on your teeth, and it helps keep your teeth water. So, enjoy that. By the way, I don't know if you heard a loud mooing sound, but my dog just laid out and rolled over. Do you see him? He is a big boy and he likes to, what we call moo, he likes to make all kinds of noises, so that was him. Uh, here is a Jack Black um, lip balm and you can get these at Ulta. I think you can also get them at Sephora. And this is in the flavor of Vanilla Lavender. Don't like the flavor? Love this though. I also have a new one that has, is like Shea Butter. Love it. It also has an SPF of 25 in there, which is amazing um, for the summertime. So I use this out at the pool all the time. Okay, this is a shower gel from Lush Cosmetics and um, I had ordered this online. I really do like this, it's uh, nice. It wasn't the most moisturizing, it wasn't the best. I would probably skip on it, but um, really excited. I just found out that there's a Lush about an hour and a half for me. So I was there recently and I was able to kind of play around with some of this stuff. So um, I'll probably have a video coming on that sometime soon, but this is from Lush Cosmetics. Um, I have a shave cream and this is from Wish and this is an acai grapefruit um, smell. It was a very odd smell. It worked pretty good. It's just like a cream. Um, it's not like a lather, like a, um, you know, like men shaving cream. It's just like a, um, it's like, you know, using conditioner to shave with. Um, it was nice. I definitely won't purchase it because the price is too expensive, but I did get this in my birch box. And so I enjoyed it. It was fine. Okay. Um, mascara have a few samples. So, um, I've been working through some of the samples I've been getting and I got this benefit. They're real. 
And I do like this. It has like the fibers that attach and make your um, eyelashes look longer. It also has um, a rubbery bristle and it has like the little ball at the end. So that way you can kind of get in there with it. Um, it's nice. I just don't know if I would repurchase it, but I'd use it if I was given another sample. Um, Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Loved this. I have two or three of these. I've been getting a bunch of samples and random things. Absolutely love this. Um, it's a good everyday mascara. And in fact, it's very similar to this one, the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes. Um, and I have a full size of this, but I haven't made it to that one yet because I've been using up a lot of these smaller ones. But um, these two are awesome everyday mascaras. They just go on so nice and just make your lashes look so pretty. Um, very good everyday mascaras. Love it. Okay, I got this Be A Bombshell mascara in my Ipsy bag, Birchbox. Ipsy. I think it's Ipsy. And um, I was pretty excited about it. I enjoyed the BM Bombshell stuff. And um, then I started hearing some things about it. Apparently it smelled really funky. And I didn't want to open it because I don't want to open up my mascaras and then, um, you know, them dry out. So I didn't until I heard about the smell. And oh my gosh, it smells like burnt nastiness ply, uh, plastic something I have no idea what's wrong with this I heard that it was because they forgot to put the scent in there but this is horrible it stinks so bad and I will not put anything that stinks that bad on my face nasty so that's gone in the trash I didn't even use it um have a few face products I've been having some really bad acne issues um, for the past couple of months and so I've been going back to some old favorites and then trying out some stuff. And so um, here are two things that um, I enjoy. And then I have a third thing that I'm still using. I got the little travel size kit from Sephora because it was cheaper for me to buy all three products than it was to buy full versions of all of them. But this is the Clinique Ac Acne Solutions. And this is the cleansing foam. And so this has the salicylic acid in it. So this is a foam you spray out and you clean your face with. Um, when you get out of the shower, when you get done washing your face, you use a toner. Um, they call it a clarifying lotion. Um, and I still have some of that, so I'm still using it. And then this is the all over cleaning or clearing treatment. This is um, the moisturizer, and this has peroxide in it. So you get your salicylic acid and your peroxide. Um, I really do like this, and I really do think it works um, most of the time for me. It did not work this last time for me. I'm still having issues, still breaking out. Um, so I'm just trying some different things and it's just not working for me very well. Um, I have, um, this, this is like the St. Ives apricot scrub, um, and this has this salicylic acid in it. And, um, this is something that I had been working on for a while and finally finished. And so this is just a nice little scrub that I use every once in a while. I've been using some face masks. And so this is one, um, that's avocado and oatmeal face mask. This is the Freeman um, brand you can get these at Walmart they're very inexpensive and then I can use like two or three uses out of them so I just stick them in little baggies this is another mask and this is glam glow this is a very expensive product I got a couple of these tubes um, for really cheap and so I got them so I could try it but this is the youth mud um, tingle exfoliate treatment and um, this is very raved about. Everybody really loves it. I mean, I like it, but I just will not spend the price. It's a little tub and it looks bigger than, <laughs> but really the in their tub is like smaller than what the outside looks like the packaging. And, um, it's like 60 bucks does not last very long, um, because you'll use it pretty quickly. And so I just cannot spend full price on it. I mean, I do enjoy it. Um, but I think that there's definitely some cheaper alternatives out there. Um, I got a couple of things from, um, Caudalie, Caudalie, Caudalie. And, um, these I got in like birch boxes and stuff like that. And the first one is a, um, overnight detox oil. And then the other one is a serum, um, anti-wrinkle defense serum. And, um, I mean, these are just so tiny. 
the little bottle in there. These are just so tiny. I can't tell if it works. You know what I'm saying? I mean, anti-wrinkle. How am I supposed to tell with just this little tiny bottle that this works? So, you know, it's just kind of one of those things. Okay. A um, few more things. Hair product. I got this um, free from Ulta. I don't even know why they just gave it to me. Um, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Um, this is like a spray on after you get out of the shower, spray it on your hair. Um, it helps detangle it. It's supposed to add in a lot of, you know, good stuff to it. Um, I like it. It's nice. I need to find a new um, spray and um, conditioner that I can use after I get out of the shower. So um, I may get that, but it's just kind of expensive. So I may look for a cheaper alternative. I have a couple of um, perfume samples. Um, I have Hello by Harvey Prince. I just finished this up. Oh, this is amazing. My husband loved it too. It's just a good summery scent. Loved it. Then we have um, Juicy Couture Lala. And um, this um, smells really good too. This is a good kind of nighttime scent. It's a little bit stronger. Really enjoyed that. And then um, this is a Victoria's Secret Bombshells in Bloom. And that was pretty good too. But my favorite out of these three was definitely the Hello by Prince Harvey. But this is like $95. Not repurchasing that at all. This is pretty expensive. And I think this is a little bit more affordable than these. But um, anyways, love, love, love this one. So I have more stuff. I'm going to have to put it on next time because this video is getting kind of long. So um, that's all I have for you guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.